Welcome to another episode of This Old Hoopty, where I take this piece of crap and make it into something a little more pretty, I hope. In today's episode, we're going to finish off the firewall as promised. A couple coats of Rust-Oleum looks pretty damn good. Let's get into the video. Now that we've got all the uh, welds filled up, I'm gonna quickly make the patches for those two circles over there, weld those in, grind them down, get the automotive primer on, and then to complicate things even more, we're going to do a white engine bay. Why? Because I think it'll look cool. Um, the white engine bay with the black frame should look pretty neat. As far as the engine goes, that's already spray painted black, so why not have black and white under the hood, right? Uh, white is what I have to use anyways for the exterior of the truck because it is going to be the base for a pearl, an orange pearl, that's going to be shot over the Rust-Oleum white. Yes, it's going to be clear coated. I've been really looking forward to using these uh, new 5-in-1 tip cans because they have that uh, big spray pattern which will make this easy. Of course, we're going to use all the garbage metal that was cut out of the firewall to make the patches. Let's get these cut out and weld it on. in and keep moving forward. A ground clamp will greatly increase our chance of actually making this work. <laughs> All right, so what do I have to stop painting? Shit!
All right, we're gonna let this cool down for a little bit, and we'll come back in, fill in between all the tacks. You know, the usual crap. screen door effect from the firewall all the little holes have been welded shut so thanks to you guys I picked up a nice little half inch belt sander that way I can get into places like this because there is not a chance in hell I'd be getting the regular grinder in there. so the only downside to using the cheap tools is they do get hot and you got to give them a little break every once in a while but this is definitely the right tool for the job and I don't mind letting it sit for about five or ten minutes let it cool down and then moving on to the next one. Not really a big deal for me. As you can see, we're also making progress on the welded on bumper horns. All right, let's cut back the weld a little bit. And of course, you can't just be welded on one side. And some additional therapy. Therapy complete. As you can see, when proper therapy is applied, you'll end up with a mess. For now, let's get back to that. All right, everything not used, the windshield wipers are gonna go back on, but everything not used here has been welded closed, patched over, and I'm going to give it one quick sand, and then we're gonna prime the whole thing. Let's go. Let's get this shaken up and all one color. Yep.
So is it perfect? Absolutely not. There are still hammer and um, sledgehammer marks all over this thing that were used to smash the tunnel here to get the engine and transmission to seat like, uh, you know, a watermelon in the hole of a Tic Tac. So we got this good. There are no more water penetrations anywhere around here. Everything has been welded closed and going to add some seam sealer on the inside of there to finish that off again. Then I can get this painted white tomorrow. So today, one more coat of this. And then I'll see you guys in the morning and we will get the white paint on the firewall. So there's pretty much everything bad about working in a hundred degree, uh, but there is a good thing. Primers, paints, etc., dry like really fast, like 10 minutes flat. And uh, let's get the white on, not wait until tomorrow. That way I'm done with this today. Let's do it. this stuff works uh, everything I use in these videos will be left in the description down below or off to the side tools paints etc so if you need it that's where you go and get it if you need more information about it try there first if not hit the comment section let's keep going I'll be back in 30 minutes and we'll do coat two Each coat gets better than the last. Obviously this stuff is getting done in a separate video. But the point was to make sure that this isn't going to rust again and get it recovered with what I'm going to be doing the inside of the engine bay with. While I'm up here before the engine goes back in, I'm also going to redo these nice and gloss black. I think it looks great compared to what it was. I mean, obviously they're hammer marks and stuff, but up here is what it was before, and this is what it looks like now. So definitely a difference. And I finally got to use the five-in-one Rust-Oleum spray cans. This thing is awesome, the little fan. It's like a four-inch fan, and it just does a really great job. All right, so by the end of the next video, the entire cab should be uh, Rust-Oleum white. I'm gonna use these cans. I bought a bunch of them. Um, I'm also going to work on the frame, so hopefully I'll be able to get the frame in the front will be all shiny and fantastic black and clean and the cab will be nice and white with this five-in-one spray can um, if i have a good day in between here and there i'm going to take the bed off and i'm going to weld close the uh, gas door and uh, flip the uh, handle on the tailgate around to the inside i got a really cool part from mod shop metalwork so stay tuned on that one um, and that's going to bring me to the end of another video you guys know what to do like it if you like don't if you don't subscribe to keep up with my latest shenanigans and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching